Hey everybody, bonjour à tous, it's Jeanette from Lady Bee Fly Creations. Welcome to my channel, welcome to my first video. I'm so excited. Uh, um, I've gotten so much inspiration from all of you guys to, uh, to and questions about how I've made things. So now I have listened and I'm finally going to do some pro process tutorials for you. But before I do that, I want to give you a tour of my craft room. So first, my name is Lady Bee Fly. Lady Bee equals ladybug, and Bee Fly equals butterfly. Okay, so let's start this tour. So here's my craft space. It's on the downstairs of my house. It used, it should have been like, I think a bathroom or, or something, but anyway, um, we, we made it into my craft room. I'm going to do a tour. I'm going to start over on the left here and I'm going to go around and come back. And then I'm going to pull in my craft chair, put it in front of my desk and show you how my, the, I work in my space sitting in my chair and then I'm going to give you a sneak peek to what I think will be my next uh, video which will be a tutorial okay let's get this started all right so we come in here the, f the first thing is um, I do lots of mixed media things so all over here is that type of stuff and more. Here is my uh, traveling to go bag, you know, that I grab for camping van trips and road trips and things. So it's this bag. There's another bag down here. There's a um, Tim Holtz mini glass mat. I will be doing a video on this bag because it's there's some things I need to take out and some new things I need to put in. You know, it changes depending on one's mood. Okay, uh, up here I have, up through here is, you know, the, st the string and the pens to hang up, uh, papers and stuff to dry on. Here is um, some almost completed art journals. I love to art journal as well and collage things. Right here I have my bucket for slow stitching. It's uh, got all my all my bits in it ready to go on my lap to binge on Netflix. It's got my needle, it's got my scissors, it's got my floss, also good to go on a road trip with. Okay, here's the first set of clear containers. I'm a clear container gal. I'm one of those out of sight, out of mind. Um, so I have to, mo I have to see it. So most of my stuff's out. Uh, where I can see it. So I have punches, paper, Tim Holtz, scraps. I need to look at that because God knows I have a whole nother box of scraps on the other side. This is, um, what is this? Ah, these are the elastic ribbon, elastic thingies. I don't know what they're called. This is Christmas one. This is Christmas two. This is fall embellishments. This is uh, wood embellishments, and this is clay. Never gotten into clay, but when I do, I have it. Or I'm just going to have to maybe give it away someday. Here is gutted books for the journal makers out there. You know what kind of stuff's in there. Here is um, stickers. Stickers I'm not uh, that aren't my favorite. I need to either repurpose them or get rid of them, donate them somewhere, happy mail somewhere. Okay, and this is beads. Okay, I'm going to try to go slow. Okay, here we have um, all my die cuts, mini sidekick, big Sizzix, um die cutter here. Here is my kit, my stuff for sewing in uh, signatures. Then down through here, um, these uh, little containers are, we, I have uh, vintage uh, handkerchiefs, vintage doilies, vintage um, 
vintage things. This is sewing pattern papers, you know, old vintage sewing patterns. And then some other stuff I use for mixed media. You'll hear me a lot say vintage things. I leave a lot of my vintage things I get um, at French flea markets. Ah, so I live in France. I didn't mention that. I live in France, but don't let the name fool you. I'm um, Jeanette Limlet is actually, I'm born and raised in uh, the United States, Northern Virginia. And uh, about 12 years ago, I married a Frenchman and live in happily ever after here in, in France. Okay, up here, so here's a, my, our first, slow Jeanette, our first bookshelf kind of thing. It's made out of wine boxes. Easy to get here. Okay, so first up here is some um, some journals, unfinished, uh, finished, unfinished. Some things, <laughs> some things going on. Oh, this was an inspiration from Louise Hansel, something like this from uh, Austria. Anyway, uh, it's there doesn't belong there but anyway okay here is lost sorry lost focus here is um some books i have to fussy cut here is i lost a fish here is um ah uh, this goes here this is some um, class some things i found at a french flea market it's upside down look at the script in here how cool is that? I'm sure, I'm sure I can find some creative ways to make a digital with that. I'll put that away later, sorry. Okay, here I have a very, very, very old French illustrated dictionary that I tear out of sometimes for collage. Um, some more books to cut up. Down here is some fussy cutting already. Um, already done, ready to go, collage with, play with. Down here is more um, books for cutout stuff. I'm not getting any more books for fussy cutting. I have enough, so I promise myself I have enough for years. Okay, down here is all my six by six paper blocks. Here is another vintage find or Frenchy find or, or just a good find. These are fabric swatches, really cool. That I found at a flea market. I need to do something with those. Those are fun. Okay, let's go back up. Okay, up here, some die cuts. Not really using die cuts much, but uh, anyway, I have them. Here I have some fun stickers and things that I like to shop through when I'm creating. It's fun. Um, here is some unfinished mixed media things that I'm working on. More like canvas painting kind of things. Down here is a container full of tags and things that are already pre-cut, ready to decorate. Um, this is cutouts of different kind of stuff that's used to decorate with, decorate anything, decorate page journals, uh, decorate, used to put on the tags and, you know, what and, and such. These four containers, this contains my napkins, uh, a little collection of different types of napkins. Um, this is blank paper type blank different types of paper and down here are magazines and uh, stuff I used to cut out for collage and glue book kind of things okay up here up here is a full full bag of, of uh, deli type bags from the bakery, tons of baguette bags and uh, and such. I have a fun project. It's pretty unique. At, at least I couldn't find it anywhere, uh, a use for those. So I will do a video. Um, that's all my list of videos to do. Here is another uh, 
fun thing to shop through when I'm creating. It's die cuts and uh, some stickers and uh, random stuff in the packaging. Through, so here's another bookcase. Um, down at the bottom, we have I have all my dyed, stained papers ready to go, except this one. I need to put that one down here. But anyway, so ready to go pa uh, pages. Here is every um, Tim Holtz stuff. I know in here there's Tim Holtz dolls, Tim Holtz nature theme kind of stuff, and then Tim Holtz other random little packs that he has. Any little random paper pack he has, I have it. <laughs> Over here is um, little die cuts and things to use to create with. Up here I have um, die cuts. Still, again, a bunch of die cut things that I use in collage. And then on this side is already completed um, collages, you know, clusters and things. And and this one is is um, envelopes made by six by six paper. Okay. And then here is a little um, embellishment keeper. I did a step-by-step -step tutorial. I think it was uh, Gail Agostinelli on YouTube. Step-by-step. -step. <laughs> I even used the same paper she did. So that's fun. That's fun to make. Okay. Up here. Did I get everything? Yes. Up here I have an inspiration board. Um, it's just really colorful images I've torn out of, you know, like the art journal or, you know, these types of magazines or or nature magazine that they make me happy they inspire me I've pulled some off in the past to just make as a focal point on artworks and things and um, anyway it makes me happy here we have all my um, all my stamps here's my newest one by Stemperia Ooh, isn't that fun I haven't had to play with that yet but I look forward to it Okay, here is um, all Tim Holtz stuff back here. Here is some of my favorite laces and ribbons. Okay, so right now we're in the area where my chair goes. I'm like standing where my chair normally goes. Here is, um, in this blue box, is vintage laces, full of vintage laces. Um, basically got a, this was full. Some... Basically got a deal. Very big deal. I think the person who sold it didn't even know what was in it. But um it was like two euro and I but when I opened it I was like, Oh and then I went and he was like two euro. I'm like, Okay, thank you. But I'll show you what's in that um I'm gonna do a whole other video on on French flea market finds. I might even take you guys with me on a flea market to a flea market. That would be fun. Here is um Vellum paper patterns packs. All these things are different types of vellum paper, and they're all different. There's not a duplicate here, so those are fun to fold and put in folders. And I have to figure out some other ideas. Down here in these three containers is um, mixed media stuff. Um, nothing really to point out. Down here is all my paints I use for mobile, special mix I use for marbling paper. Uh, randomness. Okay, here's a fun, here's fun right here. This is my lace. This is my lace wall. If I can like hang this at my bedside and play with it every morning when I wake up, I would just be a happy gal all day. <gasps> and that, that's just fun. Nothing boring about that fun 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 ah how's it hung it's hung by something like this I have no idea what it is it's made of wires I don't know I found it like for one euro at like a de-stash de store so I hung ribbons and then this one will be ready this one's ready for ribbons as well so I'll have them going all the way down to the ground <laughs> Cause, cause I need that many ribbons. Okay. Um, out there is my uh, 
sunroom. Okay, here is some fussy cut, um, fussy cutting. These are 12 by 12s. I do, I, I love Stamperia stuff. So it's got some Stamperia, not all of it, but you'll, I'm just into, you know, letting you know the kind of stuff I like. Here is other random 12 by 12s. Some, um, these are the old, uh, like, um, like see-through post office envelopes that I found somewhere. These are specialized papers I found in the antique store, actually in the U.S., in the in Amish country, U.S. This is a book, um, or a package of, um, that I have together to make sunflower journals. I say I probably have enough right now to make three different types of journals, so that will be fun. All right, so we have these two long bookcases now. Okay, let's go quickly. So this is embossing folders. This is paint brushes and sponges. This is ribbons and string. This is sequence. Sequence one, I have another one. This is um, em embossing powders and tape that doesn't belong there. This is tape. This is glues. This is Mod Podge kind of stuff. Um, my label maker and things I don't use. Uh, some silicone molds and some stuff I don't use often, so it's way down there. All right, Ooh, I went too fast. Okay, this drawer is random stuff I need to file. This one is my lace. This one is ribbons. This one is washi. This one is metal one. This one is metal two. This one is a blingy. This one is wine. I have some very unique projects for you using wine bottle labels. Fun. Fun in this drawer coming up. Sewing stuff. Tags. Tags. This. Tags meaning, you know, all those tags you get off of clothes that you must keep. You dig out of the trash can when your husband throws it in there. That's these. For repurposing someday. Random paper. Random paper is playing cards. Oh, sorry, my finger. Ugh, playing cards and such. And then down here is um, lunch bags, brown bags. Okay. Why I'm down here in this group, we have felt and foam tool. Um, ooh, I've been looking for you. I've been looking for you. These are vintage bonbon bags. Bonbon is candy in French, and look how aged they are. Oh, okay. I have to remember those are there because. I tore my room up one day trying to find those. And look, they're like right there, of course. Okay, paint, stencils, distress, and ink pads. Okay, up here is, all this is scraps. That can be like a 20 year video right there, cleaning that out. Behind here is, um, is, um, guess what? Flea market finds again. Oh, this is uh, some goodies. Some goodies back here. All right. Look forward to seeing those in the future. Okay. Here is some, um, smaller junk journals. Um, not junk journals, art journals I have going on. Um, my favorite kind of ribbons. So all this is in my hands reach from my chair. All my, all my favorite stuff is here. So we have ribbons, we have paper clips, just little things, embellishment things, brads, little, I don't know, what's in wooden letters, and a bunch of the, you know, those little, um, Clothes pens thingies, okay. Up here, 
We have some We Are Memory Keeper things. I think one is an envelope punch and one is a tag. Uh, guys, uh, I shouldn't have brought those. I don't use it. I don't use it. You can make envelopes and tags other ways. But anyway, we buy stuff we see on YouTube sometimes and it's just, you don't need it. Okay. A um, couple favorite stamps. I like these for lining uh, pages, uh, blank pages and journals. These are spare part kind of things to shop through when I'm creating. Over here, ooh, um, again, like favorite punches. Ah, sorry for the finger again. Favorite punches. Here's some random strips that cut off from pages that I'm going to paint up really fun one day all my a bunch of paint okay here is back here is all my there's a shadow hold on back here is all my mixed media stuff you know varnishes and um, modeling paste gesso kind of stuff and then all my um, <laughs> color Pencils, Tim Holtz crayons, markers, things like that. Over here is little boxes of wooden embellishments. So I've labeled on the each on the front side what's inside here, so I can grab these, paint them, emboss them, whatever, and throw them onto a project. Okay, let me go up here. So here is basically my art wall. Okay. So directly in front of me, here is my desk. Directly in front of me, I have all my mixed media kind of stuff. On uh, the Distress Ink sprays, oil crowns, oil pastel crowns, all my scissors, tools, things hanging on this board here. Okay? And down here, we have two underneath the... Yes, there's two rollouts. One rollout again. Voila! So I can roll this out. My chair is goes here. So here we have just again mixed media stuff. Tons of paints, stickles, more colored pencils, uh, markers. Okay. This rollout has papers and it has papers. It has um, envelopes and papers. So it um, already dyed um, index cards. These are all envelopes. These are book pages. So these are just plain white envelopes that ready to play with. Down here Okay, down here is, let me get something that fell over. Down here is all my rub off towels. And you can see by the look of them that I've been doing art for a while. <laughs> Back, front, and inside. I turn them inside out when I'm done with one side. It's funny. Okay, down here is my Canon selfie printer and some other random things. Up here is my Tim Holtz cutter thingy. Here is a, a box of buttons. Here is a box of little uh, trinkets kind of thing. And this is pressed flowers and somewhere else in here too, there's more pressed flowers. Okay. I have a lot of hydrangea pressed flowers. <clears throat> Okay, let me put this back. Over here, let me just scan in here. Over here is um, some journals to be completed. Okay, up through here, I have a container of paintbrushes and such, just random pretty stuff. I don't know whether I use it or not. It's just nice to look at. Here are my swatches for my Tim Holtz Distress Inks. Those were fun to make. Okay, and then just some decorative tapes, 
some more types of tools like hardware tools like screwdrivers, pliers, things like that. Okay, down here, these drawers here are perso, uh, personal, personal stuff, but, okay, nothing crafty in there. Here is um, these three drawers. This is this type of stamps. Um, this is tag-like stamps. This is uh, photo corners, and I think this is decorative decorative like yeah paper clips okay then we have my sewing machine i have this is a big drawer of rubber stamps this is a uh, small fabrics bigger fabrics another kind of fabrics and one jbl <laughs> this is like fat square fabrics this is glue tapes and adhesives. Oh, sorry, the door started moving. Sorry for that. Um, this is paints, and this is, I don't know. Okay. Ooh. All right, up here, I just, up here is uh, tissue paper and um, wallpaper type, big swatches kind of things. Here is nothing. And pretty flower hi and then up here this is where I keep all my uh, printer papers and of course my printer okay well that was the tour we made a little mess doing so but did I get everything I think I did okay so excuse the noise and excuse my fingers again oh I'm so bad guys you're like oh what is she doing this is my first video. I'm trying. Okay. Excuse the noise. Close your ears. I'm bringing in my chair now. Okay. In my chair. In. Here I am. I am in my chair. I can. When I'm working, again, I can. Everything is at arm's length okay i need some ribbons i need the washi i want to look through my scrap oh distress sprays i can pull out my this this um this roller i can spin around grab what's behind me very my arm goes all the way to my signature sewing kit section so that's fun. And then if I need inspiration, I can turn around and just play with this again. Okay. Well, guys, that is the tour. I hope I didn't make you dizzy. Sorry for the fingers in the camera. Sorry for the noise of the chair. But that was fun. And I'm glad that video was over. Because it is over. Because I think the tutorials will probably be easier than walking around showing you my craft room because the tutorials I can just show you how to make it and then fast forward to the end and talk again <laughs> no something like that okay I'm kidding okay well thank you guys for watching I hope um that you enjoyed that video I hope you learned a little bit about me and 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 how I create and I just had a random thought wait down here is some really cool French things I found at a flea market, too. I need to do a separate video on that. Okay, go back up. Anyway, back to here. So, if you like what you see, please, please follow my channel. I would, I would just be so happy. I cannot wait. I have a long list of things I want to share with you. So, please subscribe, like comment share okay isn't that cute all right for the next video i think i think for the next video i want to show you how i made these little metal charms okay aren't those, aren't those fun
Okay. And with that, I will let you go. Thank you again for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.